Thank you. Lawrence Juber on the guitar. Susan Winsberg on the flute. Seth Osborne on the keyboards. I'm David. Thanks very much. You recognize Temple of the Moon there at the end? Cool. All right. I want to uh, switch gears here and tell you about what's coming up. They we're very excited about this. Blizzard music available as sheet music. Finally. <laughs> We've teamed up with uh, Albert Alfred Music Publishing. This is one of the, the biggest and most badass uh, music publishers out there. And uh, they, they know how to, I mean, they, they know how to do a brand right, and they've been great partners. They've been very passionate about Blizzard and, and our music. And uh, so debuting for sale here at BlizzCon, you probably already know, are Lament of the Highborn and Invincible as intermediate piano. But uh, coming up soon, Lion's Pride, Karazhan, Shaping of the World, Call to Arms, the uh, main title of Wrath of the Lich King, on and on. We're also going to do a piano anthology, which will have great art and be collectible, have, uh, I think, uh, eight or 12 songs in it. Uh, we're going to do beginning piano. We're going to do uh, uh, practice music, where you get a CD with, with a piece of music. And if you play the French horn, for instance, you can practice along with it. Uh, Want to do marching band. We're all the way up to the full professional orchestral scores, the same ones that we record with, that they'll be available for rental. So uh, hopefully we'll see some more symphonies uh, playing our stuff. But I'm most excited. Awesome. I'm most excited about the educational market. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's really cool. So there'll be something for everyone out there. So there's that. And you may already know that we also released uh, here at BlizzCon, uh, for now an exclusive, the soundtrack of Fall of the Lich King, which is all the music from Ice Crown Raid, Patch 3.3. And it includes uh, Invincible and the Bronze Jam, if you're familiar with that one. <laughs> All right, now, let's talk a little bit about StarCraft II. Uh, we have, uh, first of all, just because I want them to be able to chime in here, the composers for StarCraft II, once again, Derek Duke, Glenn Stafford, and Neil Acri. So what we wanted to do to uh, give you a little taste of, uh, you know, StarCraft II, Wings of Liberty, was very eclectic. Of course, there was a lot of uh, orchestral music that, that you all know, uh, but Glenn, for instance, uh, along with Derek, worked on the original StarCraft, and so, uh, Glenn, you did the Terran music way back when, and you, uh, and you, you, you uh, reprised your role on the Terran music this time, yes? Uh, yes, I did, and that was, that was absolutely a blast, and uh, we had some uh, extremely talented musicians who I didn't ask you if we're supposed to tell their names or not, but <laughs> anyway, uh, some fantastic musicians played on that uh, on the on the Terran tracks. Um, Actually, we can. It's uh, uh, we're all big fans of Peter Gabriel, so it's uh, a lot of members from Peter Gabriel's uh, band from a few years ago. Uh, Jerry Murata, who you saw last night on drums, Tony Levin on bass, uh, Jesse Gress on guitars, Ben Butler also, and uh, Dan uh, Daniel Weiss on keyboards. Uh, and uh, we, and then our group last night did uh, a couple of a couple of songs from that as well. Yeah, that was a fantastic experience. We flew out to New York and uh, recorded in a uh, converted church that was converted into a studio uh, called Dreamland, and it just it sounded amazing. Jerry's drums just sounded huge in there. Uh, the musicians were just on it completely. Uh, I think we took three days to record five songs. Yeah. And it was, it was a marathon, but it, w it was a blast. Uh, so, so in keeping with the Terran theme, uh, we have a special guest today because there's another part of the music of this, of this thing. You ready? Um, so we have, a, we have some musical royalty here today uh, to tell you a little bit about himself and his contribution to uh, StarCraft II. Uh, his name is Tommy Morgan. I don't know if you know his name. He's a harmonica player. And um, he played his first show in 1950 for the Andrews Sisters, if I do have it correct. And uh, he, he often likes to say he's done uh, 
at recent, most recent count, 7,000 sessions and counting. And you have heard him on the theme song for things like Green Acres, uh, Sanford and Son, the original Winnie the Pooh in the, in the 60s. Uh, it just goes on and on. And uh, now StarCraft II. So I want to have Tommy, please come up. Join us.